Okay, hi everybody, we're back. Robert with more uh, Rivet training for precasts. Okay, and if you get this first time watching the video, start from the beginning, we're creating a precast structure. Okay, so now we have our floors in, and also please subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Okay, so now we have our floors in. So the next thing we want to do is we want to come up here to where it says shop tickets, and we'll select these floors. Now, you really wouldn't need to pick 35, but I'm going to go through it anyway because I think we got four different floor sizes here. But I select them because things might change. And then I'll hit finish right here. So, what it's doing is generating my piece tickets. Okay, this might take several seconds, well, several minutes. I see what's going on. If you see in the upper left hand corner of my screen, okay, now there's a piece ticket. And this is for a slab number 38. So you can come in here and make these adjustments here. Um, I want to fix this. This is the rebar list. And then here, the weight and the concrete type for parts. So you can make these adjustments. You might want to come in here and on the 3D view, you might want to make it fine and then realistic maybe. And then over here, you can add things like, you can dimension these, there's the bottom view of that. And so you can go in here and do a lot of different things. Uh, so, but the good thing about it is this is the ticket. You can make this fine. And make this shaded. Okay, you want to leave that in the wireframe. And then you can make these dimensions here. Um, and they're all parametric. They're going to work back with your uh, model. So that's looking good. Okay, so that's one of our tickets. And then you'll find these over in the project browser all the way at the bottom. So there's our 38. Let's look at 37 here. Okay. So there you have it. Um, this is how you would do your piece tickets. So they are already generated. So now we got our piece tickets done. So let's go back up to our framing plan or our level. This is where we put this on the first floor here. Let's go back into this drawing. Now in this drawing, we want to uh, duplicate this view with detailing. And we're going to rename this to Framing Plan. Or you can call it whatever you want, floor framing or whatever. I'm just going to make this Floor framing plant. Now I'm going to do this in caps. <laughs> um, okay, now you have that view. So from this point, now we had our elevations. We had a couple of sheets made here of our elevations and everything. So now we're going to do another sheet here. And this is going to be for our framing plan. I'm going to go OK here. And then I want to go up to my framing plan here. I want to drag and drop this out here, like so. Now, I'm going to see if I can bring this up a little larger here. Uh, got, this is, oh, yeah, it's got to be larger than an eighth. Let's try a quarter inch. Might be a little big. Uh, let me see. I'm going to deactivate this view. Okay. Okay, let's do some adjustments here to make this guy fit. So let's just pull this to there. This is all we really interested in up to here. So this will be where we do our work here on this drawing um, for our plan. Okay. Boom. So that's, oh gosh. 
So that's our framing plan for this. Let's put that right there. And we'll leave a little space on the bottom for sections and details. So there you go, folks. That's how we do our floor with piece tickets. So uh, now we've got our model going still here. And we have our floor done. So hey, guys, uh, I'm going to look at other things after this. So we've got our piece tickets done. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And everybody, please be safe. Bye.